What's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from me, Des Carinder. And today we're going to talk a bit about the Baton Pass ban. It was actually passed two weeks ago. I didn't really mind it as much because I'm not a big user in the, um, of course, uh, in the Baton Pass area. The only thing I've done with Baton Pass in NU is actually have a Masquerade as a Baton Pass with a Quiver Dance. And um, the, we're just going to go into first detail what is that has been banned and then we're going to go why it had to happen and as you guys see here I'm going to link you to a link here and a thread where we actually talk about the things that are the main issues and you're definitely seeing it on the screen as of right now but first of all we're just going to talk about what types of bans that is that has been banned uh, Bannon Pass has not been banned altogether it's really not what has happened what has happened is that any Speed boost in context with any other boost has been banned from the smogon. That means that if you get, um, if you pull a sword stance up and get a speed boost afterwards, then you can't bat and pass. But if you get a sword stance up and a barrier up, it's going to be fine. Any other stats is fine besides speed. We can only raise speed alone. And uh, the reason it came to fruition is because it is the speed that screws the things up here. Um, Scolipede is really the main guy that a lot of people talked about while Scolipede is manageable to really deal with it has that real fashion that people are being annoyed by and it is the only real unaware Pokemon in uh, OU is Clefable and while it can wall it and deal with it in some fashion with Flamethrower um, you don't really want to design your Clefable like that and uh, of course it has an, an access to Poison Jab once what's that would be if it is unaware, and once was as you'd be just about to kill Clefable, and um, if you have unaware, it's still a two-hit KO, and it's very easy to predict that coming in, and so that was a real, a real big deal because that was the only real way of countering it. But people have been managing that, and you know they get got over it. But what people hasn't got over, and what has really been working, and I mean sadly by saying working, is that you can see on the screen here the Smash Pass. Which of course goes for Gorbis Huntail. Uh, Shell Smash is super, super tough. Um, it raises a lot of things and it was super successful in black and white and it's just as powerful here. It's two stages of offensive stats and two stages of speed and then Bannon passed that out. It's, uh, it's usually sadly enough to, uh, to take out a lot of Pokemons, um, just for example, every like take Garchomp for example, it can just pack the Life Orb and it should OCO the whole tier after a Shell Pass. There is no way of really managing that, and I think most people took notice of that, and that's why people have been using this for easy laddering. And that goes for Geo Pass too. And what is a Geo Pass? Well, it's the Geometry Pass, Power Herb, Smurgle with Geometry. Um, basically, it gets just a ton of power very fast and um, there's a reason they have Espeon there it is because every stored power Pokemon in the higher tiers I mean Espeon we got Sigilith um, even Clefable to some extent can actually brutalize this kind of strategy and with stored power and Dazzling Gleam you should be able to OCO almost everything on the teams really um, Fairy Moves it's um, basically deal with the Dark Types that can wall the stored power, but that's about it. Even Bishop can't really do anything in that given circumstance. Uh, we saw Scolipede for some time with Iron Defense, uh, Baton Pass Speed and Iron Defense to Espeon, which actually have a decent special defense, and then Espeon can go for Calm Minds. Um, that's not a situation you want to be at. It's super, super mean. So, like I said, the advanced complex bans didn't really get banned because of the Quiver Dance as a Venomoth. There was actually not even on the table while the dollar was going. But sadly, we had other kind of passes that were much stronger. And while Quiver Dance just represents your stats, it sadly wasn't the reason. Quiver passing wasn't really the big deal. It was Shell passing and Geo passing that was what was the deciding point of what I had to do on the like this. Sadly, we're just gonna, instead of making a complex ban and just ban individual moves, it's better to have a system and ban that system instead. And the system was that you can boost two different stats as long as it isn't speed. If it's just speed, then go at it. Because if you look down at the tiers, I mean, you, you had, like I said, there are passes, uh, smash pass there, 
Uh, in RU, we have Combuskin, uh, which actually did not get that much usage. It wasn't that dangerous. And then in NU, we have, like I mentioned before, Masquerain, which also wasn't that dangerous. Uh, so that's why they're not really on the table. It is the higher tiers and the higher pressured passes because the Pokemons there are just too strong. And it came down to a very, very simple concept, and that is that this thing gotta go, or people are just gonna use this strategy altogether. And that means that everybody have to use unaware Pokemons or priority haste. And um, it it makes the game for crawl. Sadly, this response, um, just haven't mentioned because there are difficulties with this ban too. That is that the bulkier Pokemons are now gonna be unthreatened sadly um, we have the blissy chancy core uh, not together of course but um, the way to get past them with special oriented damage was actually to do one of these attacks and when that is now not really working um, we're gonna have other issues and that is that they can actually wall things out more successful and much more unrivaled this time around so that's that is actually a that is a thing, like that is something that needs to be mentioned. Um, I know that the reason these passes are around is because we have such a tanky walls, but this is a bit broken in the regards that it just, it doesn't only deal with um, um, the offensive or defensive pressure, it also deals with the majority of the sweepers that actually exist. Uh, had it only been the attack boosting, it would have been fine, but sadly it is all of it. And speed boost is what really is the deciding point here, where nobody can outspeed and everything just dies. Um, the showdown replays here are different, but a lot of these are including the likes of Godchomp, which effortlessly can come in. And uh, even with Ice Shard, it isn't really that threatened out. And all higher, I mean, we had still got Sister does this really well too. And uh, with Technician boosted Shell Smash Pass, it's it's really mean, and you can of course rely on other things. Even Keldio makes a very, very nice pass here. So that is really the whole reason why it's all going to go down. And I hope you guys understand why. And even if you don't, it's it's fine too. Uh, it took a long time for the small community to actually decide that this was the way to go. Uh, guys like Antar, Emerlays, Big Smogon, Admins actually tried to avoid this kind of pass and wanted a smoother transition to say the least and um, it didn't come down to that and um, hopefully with this ban we're gonna see at least a few guys dropping I mean Blaziken gotta drop now um, a lot of people are afraid of Blaziken but with this pass uh, or ban it shouldn't be that big of an issue because of the, um, the ban is there after all so let's hope that the veteran is not gonna screw this one over like they did with Hitmonchan for the longest time actually make sure that this thing is gonna go down and um, of course Combus can drop to NU, gonna see Venomoth drop to RU likely or next month, even NU I do believe because it's without the passing it's not really that unique it's basically it's a faster dust ducks and uh, what do we have more? Well I think that's the only two real drops we're gonna see Smurgle I do believe dropped to uh, UU because of that um, because now nobody's really gonna use it much more than Galvantula with the stick web support. That's the only like real strategy for it. But I think I think that's about it. So not the biggest changes. One could hope Scholar P drops to um, to you. It kind of makes sense. But that was gonna make it for this video. I really hope you got a better understanding on the bad and pass ban. And if even if you didn't, uh, read through this thread I'm gonna post down below here. It's it makes sense. And you can definitely see the issues. You, just, you see both sides of the issues, but you can definitely see the other issue being much bigger than the other one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, of course, if you like this video. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.